wow, this, I just can't, I can't get over how effective these rollers are. It's got that triple rolling action, just like rolling cats, it's just much like faster. These fish are in an aggressive mindset here, and they are just slamming. Kellogg here. I'm getting ready to head off for my last week of Foothills trout fishing. I'm going to finish off the spring guiding season up at Collins Lake and then I'm going to be hitting the high country. But uh, I want to take a minute to kind of wrap up what's going on in the Sacramento Valley. And I'm going to talk about three lakes, but I think they're pretty representative of what's going on across the region. Um, fishing remains pretty good for a variety of species in the Sacramento Valley, but with these high temperatures we've been experiencing, I think things are going to change really fast. Let's start off with Comanche. At Comanche, guys are still catching a lot of trout. The lake is still being planted and there are some very big trout up to about 10 pounds on tap. Both bank anglers and trollers are getting in on the action. The trollers are scoring with grubs, trolling flies, speed spoons, and speedy shiners. Start off fast, slow down when you have to, watch the marks on your sonar unit, Put your baits above those marks and uh, you should be able to catch a limit or a near limit of trout at Lake Comanche. If you're a bank fisherman, don't despair. Early and late is the best time. Find an area where you can cast into deep water and then go with your standard offerings. Inflated worms, rainbow power bait, stuff like that. Give each spot about 30 minutes. If you don't get hit, move on. Be patient and uh, you are probably going to catch some fish too, just like the boaters. Um, bass fishing is, is really heating up at Comanche. We got the post spawn going on now. The largemouth are out roaming around. They're looking to feed. They're starting to drop into deeper water. And guys out there working with wacky rig Senkos, drop shot rigs, stuff like that. Stuff that they can get down in the water column with. Find the marks find the bait and you'll find the bass and some of the fish are big they're ranging up to about six pounds and certainly there's larger fish available at Comanche but about six pounds is the biggest one I've heard about in the last week or so um, right next door to Comanche of course is Lake Amador um, and Amador kicked out some tremendous trout this spring trout upwards of 20 pounds those big fish aren't showing right now but I'm seeing a lot of limits out there um, mostly from boaters um, folks fishing, you know, Rapalas, trolling Rapalas, trolling grubs, grubs teamed with power eggs, speedy shiners, speed spoons, stuff like that. Threaded worms are working too. Again, just like at Comanche, find the marks, work just above the marks, start out fast and aggressive, slow down if you have to, and you've got a real good chance of landing, you know, a limit of pan-sized trout out at Amador, and there's got to be some of those big old trophy fish still lurking around. I haven't seen one caught in a while out there, but uh, they're there, and maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe you'll be the person I see online holding up one of those big old 15 to 20 pound trout that um, Lake Amador is famous for. Let's wrap this up with Folsom. Folsom is offering very good mixed bag action. Um, the landlocked king trolling is good. The rainbow trout trolling is good. Early in the morning and late in the evening seem to be the best times. Speedy shiners and speed spoons are working well. If you have to slow down, threaded worms are working well for the trout, um, for the kings. Hoochies, tubes, rig shad, rig anchovy fillets, all that stuff's working. The kings are down around 45 feet. Um, I sound like a broken record. Find the marks, find the bait, work those areas, and you're likely to get a king at the end of your line. Um, you know, 19 to 20 inch fish are possible. Certainly there's larger fish in the mix, but that's what I've been seeing lately. Those are your, you know, one to two, maybe three pound kings. Very nice salmon. Very few limits are being caught, but uh, you could certainly go out there and catch two or three salmon and a handful of rainbow trout too. Bass fishing at Folsom, it's very good right now. The spawn is kind of winding down. Guys are starting to catch fish on reaction baits, rip baits early. There's been some top water action and there's been some crankbait action as well. Um, just be methodical, work both the main body and the lower ends of the arms, you know, work various kinds of structure and you're gonna get your, you're gonna get your shots in at some very nice bass. It's mostly a spotted bass fishery at this point, but there are some pretty good largemouth showing in the mix and there's still some smallmouth out at Folsom as well. Um, 
to wrap up about Folsom, the catfish bite. May is a great month for catfish. The catfish bite is starting to come on strong. I haven't heard about any monsters being caught, but there's been fish up to around 24 inches being caught. Standard catfish baits, work the cove, you know, night crawlers, mackerel, liver, crawfish tails, all that stuff and more. The channel catfish bite out at Folsom is the real sleeper. There are some huge catfish in there. 10 to 15 pounders are pretty common. Um, fish in the four to six pound you know, range are very common. Um, it, there's a little bit of a learning curve out there. Um, stink baits and stuff like that don't work very well in my experience. Much better to go with the fresh stuff, move around, work the coves. Don't be afraid to suspend some baits off the bottom too. Those catfish at Folsom are very active. They chase shad, the shad are up, they're moving around. So don't be afraid to get your baits off the bottom. Maybe put one bait on the bottom, mooch another bait off the bottom, either right below the boat or using a slip bobber. And uh, nothing pulls like a Folsom Lake channel cat. They're a kick in the pants, they're a lot of fun to catch. And us guys that fish from kayaks, you know, we got a real treat in store this summer. The lake level is going to be extremely low. And, you know, in the big picture, that's that's not great news. But we're not going to have to deal with a bunch of pleasure boaters out there. So if you've got a small craft, something you can launch off the bank, by all means, give Folsom a shot. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I got to get home. I got to get packed and get on the road. I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. Enjoy that Sac Valley lake fishing while you can and then head to the high country. I'll see you up there. I'm Kel Kellogg. If you're looking for gear, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm out of here. I gotta walk through all that dust from that truck right there. It is dry here in the foothills. It's gonna be a long, hot summer. Enjoy that low country fishing while you can, and then get up high and pray for rain next winter. We got a great summer ahead. I'm out of here. I'm Kel Kellogg.